Welcome to my channel. I am here today because tomorrow is Halloween day. That means um, tomorrow is my giveaway for October. So guys, um, I also have a Dollar Tree haul and after I'm done with the haul, I'm gonna ask you a question which you're gonna answer down in the comment section below to be participating for the giveaway and I have some other videos with questions that you can look for and um, to participate in the giveaway you have to be 18 years or older or you can also have parental permission if you want um, you can uh, you have to be a subscriber and you have to answer the question correctly down in the comments below okay um so this giveaway is for october and this is going to be done tomorrow afternoon um i'm going to be busy in the morning my son augustin has therapy and we have to be in this place for like an hour so when we come back home i'll do the giveaway so probably around 2 or 3 p.m okay guys and it depends on where you are on uh, the price that you're gonna get if you are from the United States or Canada or Europe well if you're from the United States and Canada I will send you a gift card okay and you can choose from either Target uh, well someone said that not Target but um, Dollar Tree or Michaels, or if you prefer Target also. But, um, so if you're from Canada or the US, you can get a gift card. But if you are from a different part of the world and you are my subscriber, um, then I'll give you a different price and I will mail it to you. Okay, so this is open for everybody and I, I'm bilingual, so I speak Spanish and English, and I usually also make the question at the end in Spanish for those uh, subscribers that speak Spanish. Okay, so this is so uh, it's fair for everybody, and I don't have to make, you know, two videos for the same thing because I used to do that before. Um, so guys. I'm gonna start with my Dollar Tree haul because if you, I don't know if you saw my last Dollar Tree walkthrough video, I'm gonna link it down below in case you haven't seen it. Um, I went and I grabbed a few things and it looks like I was hungry because I grabbed a few snack items and I don't usually buy snack items, but this time I did. It was around 5.30 that I went there and so it was around dinner time and I was starving so I got some um, snacks. Plus I saw Lisa and Will uh, and Linda Thrifty Life um, hauling this specific item so I'm like oh I really like that so I need to hopefully I find it and I did find it so I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna start with this. Um, Christmas item it's one of those holiday mugs and this one it's more of a generic one um, this one says let it snow it doesn't say Merry Christmas because, like I just said my son my four-year-old son who has autism he has therapy every day of the week and he has several therapists and we usually give them like a gift card or a little something so this time, um, besides the gift card, I probably want to give them uh, one of these cups with maybe candy inside or something, some lint chocolates or something like that. And not all of them are Christian or Catholic. So you have to keep that in mind, you know, and be respectful. And if they don't say Merry Christmas, I am thinking that they are not Christian, so... Um, buying generic mugs for them so maybe the one with the cardinal because the other day I bought one but it says Merry Christmas and I'm like oh I don't know 
So from now on, I'm going to start choosing the ones that are more generic, like this one. So this one says, let it snow. And it has the snowman. It's really pretty. So this is the one that I got. This, the other ones that they have, um, they didn't have very many left. The ones that they had, they were too red, and too red is too Christmassy, so that's why I got this one. Okay, guys. And I also grabbed this tin, thinking about the same thing, maybe to give it to a teacher or someone. It says Seasons Greetings, and it has the cardinal right there. And look at those. So beautiful. It has cardinals all around the box and on the top it has that bird house with the cardinal on top and it says season's greetings very pretty so that was another holiday or christmas item and you saw this guys right these are just adorable i don't know what i'm gonna do with this I might add a couple in those um, holiday mugs or just keep them for myself and hoard them because I love pens and pencils. This one has the red truck right there and there are only three and the other one is just a plain green, one with a reindeer and the other one has Santa and a snowman. So there are 12 in here. And this one has the nutcrackers, which I love. Look at that. Look at the detail. And the one with the candy cane is my second, my third favorite, actually. So the other one has the cocoa um, cup, and the other one is just a plain red. So these are super adorable. So I have these two packets. I'm very happy with those. Um, something else holiday related are this uh, tags, self-adhesive tags, gift tags. And there are 104 pieces right here. And you can use this as a sticker also. Um, you can just cut around the figure here, you know, remove the part that says to and from and just use the um the little design part so you can cut around the penguin here or around the gingerbread house or around the sleigh and you can just use this as a sticker in your pocket letters because i know that many of us are um, doing pocket letter exchange for christmas so this is beautiful because it also has the red truck in the bottom with santa and the penguins on the sleigh, and the Christmas tree, and the gingerbread house. It's adorable. Look at that. You know, like I said in the video that I was showing you how I make my pocket letters, my way of making pocket letters, I try to think outside the box for the items that I use. You know, so um, in this case, you can use this as a a regular sticker and they're beautiful and look at the doggy the jorky and this doggy in the dog house and look at that sleigh look at the kitty cats look at that look at this so you know just don't say oh but this is just gift tags you know no these are stickers too these are just this can be just plain stickers Look at this one's over here. Look at that reindeer and that Santa on the sleigh. The candy cane. And look at this like village here. It's just pretty. I mean, you can just use them as a tag if you want, but you know, this can be a sticker. But these are super adorable. Look, there's another red truck. So you have like four different pages with different designs. So one, two, yeah, there are four pages and 
each page has a different design and that is here repeated twice so there are eight pages with stickers and in total you have 104 because they also had some other stickers at the Dollar Tree where the stickers were tinier a little bit smaller and they were only 80 in the box in the in the book you know and this one has a hundred and four so this is a much better buy for your money guys okay so think about it it's an idea i also got this doilies with the poinsettias um i buy this all the time at dollar tree they have the white ones they carry those all year round this time I chose the ones with the Christmas design because I can use this for pocket letters and I can also use this ones to put in my cookie tins in the bottom let's say for this um, I also got this tin I have more with the same red track design but I have the rectangle one and I saw the circle one, so I decided to get this one as well. And if you open it in the bottom here, instead of just putting a plain napkin or a tissue paper, you can put one of these doilies and it looks so much nicer. Let's see if I can open this. Eh, no, it's, it's sealed. But this will fit in here. You know, it's about this. It's the same size as the bottom of this tin. So this size, the smaller size, you can put in there and then put your glues. And it looks much nicer. And then what I usually do, I also put one on top of the cookies. So it looks, you know, better, nicer. So when they open the tin, they have a doily, then the cookies, and then in the bottom there's not a doily. So that's an idea in case you've never done this. And that's the way I do it, and I'm telling you just in case you want to do that. Okay, let me get this out of the way. For my son, he always asks for a surprise. If I go shopping and I don't have him with me, he when I get back to the car or home or whatever, he'll be like, you have a surprise for me? <laughs> so he's a spoiled little brat. No, he's not a brat. Um, so I, the other day I got him some Matchbox and some Hot Wheels cars. Cause I'm trying to buy just little things for him because he has way too many toys and I don't want any more toys that are big and bulky so I buy little things for him and I got him this um, itty bitty lost kitties it says itty bitty lost kitties and I this it says ages five and plus he's four but got him too it's like a bottle and when you open this it has some play-doh in it has this paper it has this little bag and the bag it has the picture of the little kitty that's inside and then it has the play-doh see he didn't even play with this it smells good and then it has a tiny little bag where the kitty is and you have this tiny tiny kitty that was eating an ice cream and he the ice cream fell on the floor so this was underneath so he just grabbed the little bag opened it and started playing with the kitties and he forgot about the play-doh so the play-doh is right here <laughs> and he was super happy with his surprise he even um, took a bath today later today <clears throat> with the kitties he took the kitties with him and they took a bath. And this is the other one. And this Play-Doh, I think it was pink. And this was the little kitty taking a bubble bath. 
and that's the pink layer and this is the other key. So you see right there. So that's a little tiny key that you take in a bath, a bubble bath. So those were his surprises for today. And this is something that happens every day. Any store we go into, he wants to grab a toy. So, sorry, I need to drink some, a little bit of juice because I'm so thirsty. Cranberry juice with water. Mostly water. Tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of cranberry juice. I also got this, um, stackable cookie container or just Christmas container with the red track again snowman and the pine tree is the same as the um, the little tin but this one you get a twist it to open it and it's really airtight I mean you can put cookies here whatever and it's not it's not easy to open so I think it's also at the same time childproof because you have to twist it, you know? So you, anyway, I only got one of this because it's plastic and it can break and I'd rather have the tin ones in case I need to ship them or, you know, it's, I think the tin one is better for that if I'm gonna send it away. Then I got two of this. Uh, it's just dashing through the snow. They are quite big. I have no clue what I'm gonna do with this. I might just use this uh, for my son, give it to him to put some toys in here. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought about the use that I'm gonna give it. The other one is a gift. Uh, it's gonna go in friend mail. So just one is for me. That's the red track. This one is bigger than the ones in here. Dashing through the snow. You know, for some reason. I love Christmas, guys. And I have my kitty ears because uh, they match my sweater. But as of next week, I'm going to start wearing my Christmas stuff. So excited. So we're going to go into the snacks. I got my bagel crisps. I usually buy this at the supermarket at the Stacy brand. The Stacy's, I think it is. Yeah, Stacy's. And they have this. But they are much more expensive. They're not a dollar. And this is good till September of 2020. And where is it made? It says, I think it's made in the US, New Jersey maybe. And New York snacks. And it has the Empire State Building right there. It says twice baked never fried so that's what got me because i don't usually eat a lot of fried food even when i eat chips i buy them baked so this is great because i'm also trying not to eat a lot of bread because i'm trying to lose weight i want to lose like 20 pounds and it's so hard to do guys so this one says it still says that it has a lot of carbohydrates it says 18 grams of carbohydrate, and you know that that turns into sugar. It metabolizes in your body and turns into sugar. But it says that only has one gram of sugar, which I think it's like added sugar, because I, like I just said, carbohydrate metabolizes in your body and it turns into sugar. But it also has three grams of protein. And what's the serving for this? Uh, six. Chips for 120 calories. This is perfect for me. I can eat six little things for just 120 calories. Perfect. And I got three of these bags. 
three of these bags. You can tell that I was starving. And I got two of these ones. It's the same brand. It says New York style sea salt pita chips. And this is eight ounces. And this one is 7.2 ounces. So this one, I also buy the Stacy's brand from the supermarket and they have sea salt. I buy usually sea salt and cinnamon sugar. Oh, it's so good. And at the Dollar Tree, they have the little bags uh, with cinnamon sugar and I buy them every once in a while. But this one is a much better because it's a big size. And my husband and I, we were both starving. So I got two bags of this and we ate one bag between the two of us. So I only have one left. I also grabbed this one. They had a bunch of Snyder's of Hanover pretzels, different kinds. But I grabbed this one thinking that maybe Augustine, my little gun, my little guy, maybe he'll like them. I'm hoping, so I don't know. I get to open it tomorrow and give him some. It says the price is $2.99 and this expires in January of 2020. So I'm thinking that maybe that's why they have a lot because it's gonna expire soon, but this will be gone way before January. I got this for my husband. He loves this um, snack. And potato skins, I always buy this for him. This is cheddar and bacon. And I have two of these bags for him. I love them. He takes them to work and he eats that as a snack all the time. So I'm going to give him this and those two other bags. And he'll just keep them in his car and he'll eat them in his break. I'm super excited about this. This, it says M-I-O, Mio, I don't know how you say it that way, but M-I-O protein. And it says it has 10 grams of protein per serving. And it has four um, containers, four on-the-go packets, it says here. And it has only 70 calories per packet and 10 grams of protein. So this is really, really good. You can see right there. And I'm thinking that this is wonderful also for either my husband to put in the water or for my son who is into fitness and sports. And so this is gonna be for them. I only get two so they can try it, but I I'm thinking that I'm gonna be back there probably this weekend and I'm gonna buy at least a couple more of this or four more so I can send this in my next um, care package to my son. You know, funny story is that the other day when I saw my son um, at his regatta, I said to him, so how do you like your box, your care package? Do you, were you excited? Do you, do you like everything I sent you and he says yeah it was good and I'm like what <laughs> I was expecting him to say yeah mom that was wonderful yeah thank you so much but he was like yeah it was good and I'm like and he says to me well I already knew what was in the box because I saw it in your video <laughs> so it's a good thing that he watches my videos. So if you're watching, baby, I love you. I miss you. Um, but, you know, he was like, I already knew what was in the box because I saw it in your video. <laughs> he never comments, but I guess he watches. And he probably watched that one because he knew it was for him. But, you know, it was super funny. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so next time I'm going to post the video after he receives the box because he wasn't that excited. He's like, I already knew. <laughs> I saw it. I was like, oh, okay. That was funny. I forgot this Christmas item. I was so excited when I found this. It's this giant. I don't know how big giant is. Oh, it says here. 
it says 44 inches tall and 36 inches wide I, I'm not sure that's considered giant but it's big I mean you can fit here a big box probably a big uh, train box or something I don't know so this is giant gift set and it has the red truck and the snowman and the um, the red truck it says ho 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 be merry on the on the uh, truck door and in the back here in the back of the truck it says Merry Christmas super cute and even has a tag look at that I don't know if you can see it in here it says yeah it's too much glare but it says Merry Christmas right there it has presents in here well just trust me when I say that okay and it has the tag and look what I found. Ta-da! I got some Kate Boss, guys. I am so super excited. And this is that fondant rolling pin. And I got two. Probably one for Frank Mail, and the other one is probably for me. Um, it depends on how, if I can fit this in the box though, because it's quite big. We'll see. I also got this one. It says uh, six piece decorating tip set. And um, this is what it has inside. I also got this one. And it's this winter cake kit. I am super freaking excited about this one because it has the snowflakes. And I'm like, oh, ah, I want to make this. And it contains that. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. It has the same thing on, on both sides. But it has the snowflake cutter. A Christmas tree, a reindeer, and I think some ornaments too. And I also found this one. It's the sports cake kit. This is probably gonna go in front mail. And it has um, the cutters here, the fondant cutters, and super cool. See it right there? And it has 28 piece. This is more than this. This one has 25. This one has 28. And that's it. And I'm super excited about this. Because my son loves uh, trains and transportation in general. <laughs> Airplanes, fire trucks, whatever. And this has a four piece work truck set fondant or cookie cutter press so I'm gonna use this probably for um, cutting cookies for him for Christmas when I bake and I also got this one it's um four piece princess set this and that is it guys that's my Dollar Tree haul and I am so 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 super excited that I found all the things that I love. Um, so before I forget, because I really wanted to make this video to give you the heads up for the giveaway for tomorrow on Halloween day. So the last question that you can answer in order to enter for the giveaway is in my previous Dollar Tree haul, I'm gonna put the link below so it's easier for you to find it. Um, I was talking about my birthday and I'm pretty sure I told you when my birthday is. I told you the date. So the question is, when is my birthday? Just answer down below, okay? Answer down below in the comment sections and you'll be entered 
and you'll find out tomorrow around 3 p.m. if you are the winner for my October giveaway. And for November, it's going to be the same thing, okay? I'm going to continue with the questions and as many as you can answer, you get more chances to win, okay guys? So um, good luck to you and I will see you again tomorrow. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends, okay? So thank you so much again. It's been lovely and I'll see you again tomorrow. And happy Halloween, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> guys, I forgot to ask the question for the giveaway in Spanish. So, la pregunta en español para mañana, el concurso de fin de octubre es... ¿Cuál es el día de mi cumpleaños? Solo el mes y la fecha, no el año. <ríe> no el año, solo el mes y el número. ¿Ok? El mes y la fecha. Sin año, por favor. <ríe> si saben el año, no lo pongan. <ríe> um, y bueno, eso es. Entonces, eh, pónganlo en los comentarios de de abajito y voy a poner el link de donde yo dije qué día era mi cumpleaños por si no saben para que lo vean entonces lo pueden escuchar y escriben en los comentarios abajo qué día es mi cumpleaños bueno eso es todo muchas gracias y el concurso es el día de halloween 31 de octubre a eso de las 3 de la tarde de Estados Unidos que es Diferente a Sudamérica. Creo que es una hora de diferencia. Una hora menos todavía. Este fin de semana creo que nos cambia la hora. Bueno, eso es todo. Eh, no se olviden comentar abajo. Y mañana a las 3 de la tarde es el concurso. Bye bye.